guys, I'm Nathan from Arms and Armor. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about our Spada di Zogo. So this is a training sword that's built for fencing in the tradition of Fiore de Liberi, the late 14th century uh, Italian fencing master. Now, we've made this sword to be optimized for his style of combat. It's a little bit smaller than most modern fetters that are used in Hema. You can see it does not have a shilt like fetters do. Instead, it's a longsword trainer and is proportioned to the longswords of the period, which I'll show you a sharp here that it's similar to. So this piece has nice faceted pommel, hardwood uh, grip covered in leather uh, with beeswax uh, to shrink it as uh, most of our swords have. Uh, a fairly simple functional cross on here and a simple sturdy blade. It's got a nice uh, bit of flex to it, a little bit less than many fetters have, although you know, we can make it flexier if you really want it, uh, but it's supposed to perform very well in the bind. That's why we've made it the way it is. Uh, and in the half sword, you can use it in unarmored or in armored combat. Uh, it's suitable for both. So this sword weighs, oh, 3.2-ish pounds, and uh, the grip is just about seven and a half inches long, 7.6 inches long. The whole thing is like 46 and a half inches long, so it's not a huge sword. If you look at the uh, illustrations in uh, the Fiore de Battaglia, Fiore's fighting manual, uh, you'll see that the long swords they're using aren't gigantic, right? So you see them in these various guards, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're not giant swords, and this is uh, correctly proportioned uh, for that style of combat. Uh, as a late 14th century sword, so Fiore was born in 1350, he died in, God, it was like 1408, something like that. So late 14th century is when he was really active uh, as a soldier and as a fencing instructor. Uh, it's the same period of time uh, that this sword comes from. Right, so this is a Type 15 longsword that's based on our Black Prince sword. It just has a different pommel. This is a custom order. I just picked it up off the wall because it was the Type 15 that we had. Uh, it has similar characteristics to the Spada. The length's about the same, the weight's about the same, the proportions are all very similar. It has a little bit fancier guard. But this Type 15 longsword, which has a stout diamond section and tapers to a fine point, uh, which is great for either armored or unarmored combat, is exactly the kind of thing that Fiore was using. So if you're into Fiore de Liberi and his fighting system, check out our Spada di Zogo and consider getting a matching sharp sword like our Black Prince or our German Branch sword, right? Either of those would be from the correct kind of time period and blade. Thanks very much.